Hello everyone. Welcome back to BTNX channel. Today, let's see how to use convert function in Excel with the help of ChatGPT. Let's go into the demo. Okay. If you are someone using Excel in your day-to-day -day job, let me tell you something. You are going to be replaced unless you are integrating AI in your Excel. If you integrate AI in your Excel workflow, let me tell you something. You are going to be 10x more productive and you, you will be getting that promotion that you deserve. If you want to learn all this, join me for my two hours workshop on Excel using AI. So here is the Excel sheet and my requirement is I need to convert miles to kilometer. Okay, so I'll be using here like uh, I'll put miles and here it will be kilometer. Okay, so I'm keeping 158 and 128, 60. One mile. So I need to use a convert function. Okay. So with the help of Chat GPT. So let me go to the screen. So here is the Chat GPT screen. Okay. So use Excel convert function to convert miles to to kilometers okay let's see what it is giving yeah to convert miles to kilometers in excel you can use the convert function okay so it is giving in cell b1 or any other cell you want to display the kilometer okay so i want to convert over here right so i'll be using here okay so that means miles to kilometer that is the formula Okay, I got it. Okay, what is the thing means? If this is A2, okay, it has mistakenly given us A1. Okay, so that is the part because in A1, miles is there. Okay, otherwise, I should have given the uh, prompt uh, properly such that the values start from A2 to A5, like that. I should have given. I didn't mention anything. That's what it is giving the error. You can solve it. So if I give uh, instead of A1, A2. Okay, so yeah, we got it. Okay, so these are the one mile is equal to 1.609.34 uh, kilometer. Okay, so before going into the next part, guys, one important update. Okay, as you all aware that A is taking over the world in such a short span of time, we have seen so many layoffs, millions of jobs replaced by AI, and you don't want to get affected by this recession wave. Yes, A won't replace you, but the person using A will replace your job. So if you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career, join our three hours A tools workshop in which we will teach you about the best A tools to upskill, increase your productivity and enhance your career. All the installation steps and other A tools will be explained in detail in our BTNX program. So make your future secure with us join our workshop by clicking the link in the below description okay so go to this uh, link okay this is this will be about our beta x if you do the beta x you will get into this part and here scroll down there is ms office and these will be the upcoming workshops where you can upgrade yourself and here you can see when will be the next uh, workshop and why to join this course and what will you learn in this workshop so all these details are here okay so don't miss to enroll in this workshop guys now let's go back to our code okay. so it's we are here so we have got it okay this is from miles to kilometer okay so this we can use this formula and the next part what we can do like uh, we can convert a fahrenheit to celsius right okay i'm giving fahrenheit Parent here it is Celsius. Uh, we'll give same thing. Convert use Excel. Function to convert to Celsius. We'll see. Yeah. Instead, you'll use the formula here. 
function yes it is giving this okay use the convert function you can use the convert function to convert it's important not the convert function does not directly support temperature conversions instead you can use fahrenheit to celsius okay so we will it's giving like this giving 28 6 okay. and over here it should not be a1 it should be a10 i have from my understanding uh, okay so 32 Okay, so zero Celsius is equal to 32. I should have given Celsius to Fahrenheit. We will have made well. Okay, so this is the way, guys. Okay, so it is giving the formula. Okay, and this is one, and we can convert the feet to inch also. Okay, like uh, so six feet, uh, five, five feet. 10 okay. use excel formula function to convert feet to inches let's see It's all they are thinking that the values are in uh, A1, okay. So we should uh, make such that, uh, or otherwise we should give to the, the chat GPT that the data starts from cell so-and-so to and end in like that, okay. So here, the thing is like E3, right? Seventy two inches. Let's keep one feet is equal to how many inches? Twelve inches. Okay. So we got it that actually we can check for grams to kilograms. Hundred thousand. And fifty, we'll see. Use function to convert grams to kilograms. Okay, we got it. Here it should be E eleven. Zero point five, yeah, correct. So thousand grams is equal to one kg. Yes, correct. And uh, now let's try, see, for example, let's give anyone's uh, uh, date of birth, okay? And let's ask what is the age, okay? We need the uh, calculator or the Excel function to convert it into the number of age, number of uh, days in terms of age, okay? So, for example, I am giving in, this is I, I eight right. I am giving any name like it. twenty with change at twelve and any year nineteen something eight. Okay, so I am giving uh, like let's give like this. I eight right. I eight 
column has has date of birth in 2012-1979. That is a format. Using Excel formula, The formula convert convert it to age in days month and year. Okay. Let's see how it is giving. You need to use a combination of function assuming the date of birth is 2012-1979 convert text to date Calculate age and age does not. Okay, Excel does not have a direct function to calculate age. Yes, but you can use several functions to achieve this. And that's in both ways. Okay. So it's giving date of mid. Let's see. That is the advantage of this uh, functions, guys. Chat GPT also. Otherwise, now you need to look into various links, right? And it won't give a proper direct uh, thing. Okay, so directly we'll copy this part. Let's copy this code directly. And I am giving here. Let's try it. I'm just uh... little. This is 20, 1979. Okay. Just copying it. That place I'm giving instead of what I eat. Just I read. No, that is wrong. I'm just changing it. Okay, so 43 years, 10 months, 28 days. I am again replacing. Okay, again I'm doing. Okay. So let's keep it like 12, 12, 1968. Okay. I am just making uh H22. H22 column pass date of birth. Birth in 12-12-1968 format using Excel 
a convert function calculate calculate the age in days month and year okay so let's see giving convert function is not suitable okay calculate the age we are giving h22 right h22 let's see finally what has come use sure. okay let's see how it's converting Let's choose this. Yeah, okay. So 54, 11, five days. Okay, some uh, issues gave with the, uh, means some uh, apostrophe that I missed it. That's the thing it uh, gave little. So anyway, by fine tuning, we can get the exact result. Okay, so that is the advantage of these things because we have first tried with uh, one formula and then we are trying with the uh, second. At that time, it didn't accept it. Then we fine tuned it. Okay, give it as give it in a data diff. So after giving this data diff, it gave the right result. So we tried this part in three times. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this session, guys. Okay, take care. See you again later. Bye bye.